Feeling down? How about a pin pick-me-up? What's inside the new Zanini box, the monthly collectible pin subscription service? That's a bit of a mouthful. Zanini Box does in fact deliver to your doorstep every single month collectible pins. Fancy a little bit of flair in your life? Zanini Box is the best service around. You can click the link down below in the video description. That will of course take you on over to Zanini's website and from there you can subscribe and get on board the collectible pin bandwagon. We're gonna go ahead and open up the newest offering from Zanini Box and check out the pins and as well as a few other things that they have been putting in recently with their Zanini box releases. Of course, in order to do all the things I'm, I've just finished saying, I'm going to need myself a knife. So, of course, reaching off from the far side here, we've got Chet Cuddington the third, my trusty knife of choice. We're going to slice the tape. <laughs> Probably not making that noise, of course. And we're going to get inside and check out the newest offerings, like I said, from Zanini box. I don't know about you, but I am a big fan of collectible pins. I actually have you know, a big, about this size, this size, this size, about this size of a plastic tote full of pins. One of these days, I really should do a follow-up video and show you guys all the pins that I have in my collection. Would anybody even be interested in that? I hope. I hope so. Um, the first thing we're going to grab seems to always be the case. I want to pull out the trading cards. I did say there were other things in there besides just the pins, and there is trading cards. Specifically, nine trading cards. Just go ahead and open this all up so you can see it. What they've also done too is they haven't given you all the same genre. So at the, along the top there, you've got comics, the original Wolverine issue number two, Incredible Hulk, Future Imperfect, and X-Men, Beware of the Blob. In the middle, you've got yourself television film, Schindler's List, Game of Thrones, and Breaking Bad. And down at the bottom, you've got a couple of video games. 2K edition of NBA, Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate, and on the very end, you've got Retro Stampede. It actually doesn't say Retro, I just added on it to it, because it's, it's, it's an older game for your Atari. Very, very cool cards. On the back, this is basically what they look like. Now, I am somebody that likes to take these then cards, take them there, these cards, and remove them and group them together by their category. So all in my sheets that I have in my binders, I actually have all the comics together, right? Yeah. I have all the TV together and the movies together. And I have all the video games separate on their own as well. So I really like the fact we get these. Going to put those, of course, to the side. And there's a lot more going on here. We have the insert card. This is for May. So we're going to put that to the side. Keep it kind of face down to see, well, to not see any of the reveals inside. We also have magnets. That's something else that we're going to talk about in a second. But of course, you guys are here for pins. And I hope to be here to deliver the pins to you, to bring you the goods. The first one being Sylvester from the Looney Tunes cartoons. Suffering Succotash. We're lucky enough that Sylvester hasn't been met with the feelings. Of course, we have to get rid of the character. Unfortunately, the same can't be said for Pepe Le Pew. I'll keep my own personal opinions of that aside. But... I think all the Looney Tunes suffer from some issues whatsoever. I mean, like, Sylvester has a bit of a spitting problem. He spits all over the place. He's a nice-looking little tiny kitty. Kitty pin there. Uh, that's what it looks like on the back. little push pin on the back. Next, we're going to have a look at My Hero Academia. Oh, how about that? Now, don't let this fool you. It's it's just the logo. It's just the logo. And, I, you know, I really actually like when we get the pins where they're just the logo and it's nothing else. You know, that's good if you want to have like a lapel pin, for example. Um, this is the limited edition My Hero Academia. And again, there's what it looks like on the back. Two this time, two backings. Let's see what else we have in here. The next one we have is Cyborg. Not quite in a Bruce Tim style, but you could certainly imagine that he would fit in well with a Justice League Unlimited cartoon, which I guess Cyborg really never made an appearance in, did he? Uh, this is number 10, apparently. Cyborg. Very nice. Uh, let see what else we have in here. Pulling out the next pin. Oh, look at this. Scarlet Witch. Mind you, it's not Scarlet Witch with a lower torso, and she's missing her arms. It's just this top kind of bust area of... Scarlet Witch in her classic costume. It's also listed as number seven. I think there may be one. Is there just one more? There's just one more. Oh, okay. We got Master Universe Orco. 
I'm not really sure what he's doing. It's almost as if like Orko's made a spill in like Castle Grayskull, and everybody's like, "Hey, hey, who who just spilt this soda all over the floor and didn't even bother cleaning it up?" And you know, Orko's just sort of Orko's got to go, leaving leaving Castle Grayskull. But how can you be Orko as a pin? That's awesome. So those are the pins. And then to go along with that, if you liked all the pins that we just finished having a look at, you get the same thing also as magnets. So there's My Hero Academia as a magnet. Suffering Succotash, Sylvester the Cat as, uh, again, a magnet. We have the uh, Scarlet Witch. There is Cyborg. And last, and certainly not least, there's Orko. So how do these work? I'm going to give you just a quick tutorial. Nothing long, because I know you guys have places you got to go to. I mean, the bus has only come, what, quarter to, quarter after? So you guys are kind of on borrowed time. So I appreciate it. appreciate that you guys stop for a second before your bus has to arrive. Let's peel the back here. And again, like, this is still, like, the enamel pin. There's Orko right there. I'm going to peel the back off. And so what they do is they give you the magnets that go on the back of it. Just line things up as best as I can get this. I don't have like the, the next 45 minutes to try to line this up perfectly. I think I did a pretty good job. Not too bad, not too shabby. And then we're just going to push it down, sandwich the two halves together to give ourselves Orco. So it's basically the pin that we just finished looking at, but it has the benefit of a magnet. So you can put it on a mini fridge. Anything basically is metal. You can just stick that right on. Maybe the interior of your locker. I know we're kind of wrapping up school right now, but for the new year, maybe you could be the kid that's known for having collectible pins on the inside of his locker. Hey, it's collectible pin guy. It'd probably be a little bit more, more helpful if they actually knew your name, but at least you have a nickname and that's not so bad. So let's have a look at the insert card that came included with the May offering of Zanini Box. For the offerings of Magnets, we've got the My Hero Academia. we got Cyborg, Scarlet Witch, Sylvester, and Orko. For the cards, we got, for comics, Wolverine, Hulk, and X-Men. Movies, Schindler's List, Game of Thrones, Breaking Bad. And for the games, NBA 2K21, Mortal Kombat 11, and Stampede. If you guys would certainly like to get on board... Hold on a second. Here we go. If you guys would like to get on board the Zanini box, it's simple, it's easy. All you have to do is click the link down below in the video description that will take you on over to Zanini's website. And then from there, you can decide for yourself. Let's get a little blurry there. You can decide for yourself if you'd like to get on board Zanini Box and have one of these purple boxes delivered to your doorstep every single month. Where contained inside, I'd like to hope that I did a good enough job of presenting this, you have trading cards, right? Yes. Collectible pins, check yes. And you've also got yourself the magnets of those pins. So there's lots of stuff inside every single month's offering from Zanini Box. If you guys, again, would like to subscribe to Zanini Box, you can click the link down below. And certainly, while you're also down there, shameless plug, shameless plug, you can also subscribe to this channel. Of course, if you haven't done so already. If you've already done it, you can't really subscribe again. You could unsubscribe and then subscribe again. But, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't really make much of a difference. But make sure, though, you're keeping your peepers peeled to this channel because there's definitely going to be a lot more content coming your way. And as always, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.